everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete The Elder Scrolls V. No, The Elder Scrolls Three Morrowinds, we're not playing Skyrim. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowinds. And in today's episode we are going to track down a missing uh, hand of Almalexia who's apparently uh, lost his mind. Okay, you... whoa, 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 what? <laughs> I suddenly had flashbacks so that's god awful. Uh... Uh, that god awful wood elf. I was like, oh god, <laughs> is he back in spirit form? Does he want more money? Is he gonna attack me again? But no, I think it's just someone else's random dialogue. But yeah, we're, we're gonna track down this man, and apparently he's not in the sewers, even though she mentioned the sewers. But yeah, apparently he's just in the God's Reach section. So this is God's Reach, excellent. So we've just got to track him down. I don't know exactly where he is. Um, oh yeah, that's of course that's Eno. I mean, Amalexia said that he was she was gonna deal with that. He was just a high ordinator. I don't know if he's still going to be dressed in, like, hand gear. Oh! So you're her new dog. Oh, interesting. Salas, there we go. Here he is. Salas Valor. So, uh, I wonder, can we loot his armor? We might be out because I assume we need to kill him. We need to deal with him. So, <sighs> okay, yeah, I think that's definitely a kill him. So, she has sent you for me. Now you are her favorite. How convenient. Whichever of us dies, she will be well pleased. And if both of us die, so much the better. Well, I am content. Perhaps this is how it was meant to be, meant to end. I ask the forgiveness of all the gods and spirits, whoever they may be, and you too might make your peace with the gods, because at least one of us will not live to see another sunset. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Hell yeah, we're gonna be, gonna be able to take his gear. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what what no spell that was he just cast on us. He is difficult to hit though. We do still have our. Uh, our long blade in our inventory is proving too difficult. I don't. What is what is this that he's casting on us? I've, no, I, oh no, I think it's um, it's it, it's got some sort of enchantment on his sword. I wonder. Oh, can we back into a corner? That would be amazing if we can't. We literally have not hit this man once. Can I, excuse me. Can I hit this man, please? Hello. Oh, thank. At least he's not backing up anymore. But I, I probably shouldn't have said that. Probably spoke too soon. What? Why can I not hit this man? Why? Is he just high? I assume he's just high level. I mean, she did say he was uh, difficult. Which is, it's not that like, important to us, given that we play on god mode. This is a really cool sword he's got, actually. It's like, it's got a, a, a curve in the middle, which is interesting. Not, not a curve, like a, a right angle, almost. Okay, this is, this is not going very well. Should we try switching over to our long blade? We'll, we'll, yeah, there we go. See, now we can hit him. Yeah, we just we don't have enough axe skill right now to take on someone. This powerful, so we will simply use our long blade for this, and then we'll switch back to the axe. Although, I'd very much like to see what that sword is, as well as all of this really sick armor. Because, uh, as cool as the ebony stuff is, uh, this looks enchanted as well. Uh, I think this is actually more topical. Okay, journal's been updated. Salas Valor is dead. Any threat he represented to the peace of Mornhold is now eliminated. I should report to Almalexia. So yeah, there's very clearly some shady stuff going on with Almalexia. She seems very, she's extremely egotistical. I mean, she you know wants to like prove her divinity, you know, by making us just use a weather machine because she doesn't actually have the power to make to change the weather and just cause fear essentially, which is not very benevolent. And yeah, I don't know, I, I don't. She's definitely not giving us the whole story with this guy, but I think he's probably realised this. Um, but, of course, Avelin is not going to question that because he's very devout. So, what have we got? Her ebony scimitar? It's just, yeah, it's a scimitar. Okay, frost damage 15 points. Absorb... Oh my god. Absorb strength. Damage that other person. Oh my god. <laughs> We've got her hand boots. Fortify attribute agility, which, of course, we can't wear because we've got the boots of blinding speed on. Her hand curious, fortify skill heavy armor. I think uh, what? Yeah, we are wearing heavy armor, so that's perfect actually. Okay, well yeah, let's wear that. We're kind of wearing a skirt now, but that's fine I guess. Her hand greaves, fortify medium armor. Okay, why would why would we need that though? Because it's heavy. Okay, well whatever, we'll wear it. It it doesn't even matter. Her hand helmet, reflect five percent. Okay, so that reflects any damage that they hit us with. Well, I don't know if that even really counts for us, but yeah, we'll put that on. Way cooler than our current helmet. Uh, her hand left gauntlet fortify strength five points. Now I think we are wearing, in sh yeah, we've got yeah much better gauntlets here. Yeah, fortify strength twenty and 
or Fortify Agility 20. So yeah, we'll keep those, but we will obviously take them. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Yeah, Gauntlets. And we've got the Pauldrons. Resist Poison, 5%. Hell yeah. And Resist Paralysis, 5%. Hell yeah. <laughs> so let's have, a, let's have a look at us now. Uh, how do I... Yeah, there we go. Look at us! Oh my god, yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, the gauntlets and boots don't even really stick out. I mean, the boots slightly. They don't really stick out that much because, well, everything looks bad and bad in Morrowind. But yeah, look at how cool we are now. And yeah, Avelin would definitely, definitely wear this stuff, I think. So yeah, there we go. Oh shit, oh, I'm over encumbered. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, how much are we over encumbered by? Should I just drop off the Kyrus? I suppose. Uh, that's not quite enough. How much of the stuff can we drop off? Oh, uh, the helmet? Yeah, the helmet. Okay. Yeah, and we need to go and sell our old ebony stuff. That's annoying, but... Oh well, that's fine. So, head back to the temple. And then we can run over here to the... Are we actually, are we actually running slower? I feel like we definitely are running slow. We'll... So yeah, we were definitely wearing heavy armor before. Is this just... Do we start running slower the more carry weight we have? I don't know. This game is ridiculous. It, it's possible. Can we, can we jump? Please, that yeah, we're definitely running slower, and like not jumping as high as well. That's rats in the bag. Okay, well, let's uh, sell this man some stuff. You can see he's wearing the, the the wood elf stuff that I uh, sold him. Okay, ebony greed, you can have that. This man has so much money, I love it. Okay, you can have those. And now, who else have we got here? Pawnbroker, excellent. You, yeah, that, that that guy just has so much money, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like an unhinged amount of money. Uh, okay, you can have the left pauldron. I know that's, you know, we're selling that for a big discount or whatever. We just need it out of our inventory. Cloth here, I don't think they'll buy uh, armor. They need to buy clothes. Magic shop. Uh, oh, armory. Armory. There we go. Hi. Well, you, yeah, look, you've got the helmet. <laughs> no, I was selling. There you go. You can have a right pauldron as well. Do I have anything else to sell? Oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty full on the carry weight. You know what? I need to go and drop these off back home in... Back home in Vardenfell. Should I do that now? Yeah, I'll go drop these off and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. So, <laughs> let's head on back inside and tell Amalexia that we have indeed killed her stray Many hand. blessings upon you, my loyal servant. Thank you. Have you eliminated the threat of my poor, mad, missing hand and brought peace to Mournhold? I have. Salas Valora's debt? The pain is almost more than I can bear. For you have served me faithfully, and is in my mind to grant, grant to grant you a divine blessing. Would you like skin as tough as iron? Would you like my protection against paralyzing terror? Or would you wish to always bask in warm comfort of my reflected glory? Quick now, choose. You must not keep your deity waiting. Oh, skin like iron, protection against paralysis, or warm reflected glory. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let me. <laughs> I don't know what these mean. Let me have a look at this very quickly. Uh, do, do I have a? Uh, because <laughs> I've got I've got a wiki open. Well, ah, here we go. So her iron skin, constant five point bonus to unarmored plus light, medium, and heavy armor. This is implemented as an ability rather than a spell, so it boosts skills above a hundred. Her guard against terror, constant resist paralysis 20%, or her reflected glory, constant fortify health by 10 points. Or you can recline and reward. Why would, why would you do that? Or decline, rather. Uh, I think probably iron skin. Yeah, because, yeah, I think iron skin. Skin like iron, please. I bless you with my gift and mark you as my own. Be ever faithful in your service, and you may expect more generous rewards. Hell yeah! Okay, journal updated. I reported to Almalexia that Salas is dead, and that any threat he represented to the peace of Mournhold is now eliminated. She was pleased and rewarded me with a special divine blessing. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be another one of those things where you have to just go outside and wait a day. Because <laughs> for some reason she won't just give us the quest straight away. So there we go, waste a day, and I'll go and see if Almalexia has anything else... Many blessings upon you, my loyal servant. Welcome, Avelion. It is time we talked of greater things. I have watched you since your arrival in Bardenfell, and you have been a strong and faithful servant to me. None but the Nerevarine could have succeeded as you have. 
How long I have waited for this. My Nerevar returned to me at last. Oh yeah, of course, because uh, Almalexia and Nerevar, the man who we are the incarnate of, uh, they were married. Of course, that's interesting. <laughs> I have watched from my temple as others have made the claim, and I have seen them fall. I believe now that you are the one who was prophesied. Yeah, I mean, we've We've already proved that many times over, but okay. I believe you now to be the Nerevari. Though I have watched others come and go, my belief is that you are the child of prophecy. The time has come for you to reclaim your station. Together we can unite Morrowind once again, free from the Imperial yoke. For years, the Chimer and the Dwemer had been at war. The Dwemer spurned the Daedra that the Chimer worshipped, instead placing their faith in their metal creations. It was only when the Nords invaded Resdane which is the old name for Morrowind, that the two nations were able to join as one, under the leadership of Arnerevar and the Dwarf King Dumak. In time, the two generals became blood friends, and on the day that Nerevar and I were wed, Dumak presented us with twin blades. Hope's Fire and True Flame. Ah! Okay, I recognize those names from the Creation Club in Skyrim, but I don't know anything else about them. Each was a magnificent blade, the pinnacle of Dwemer craftsmanship. Their blades burned with an unearthly fire, and the sight of them struck fear into our enemies. My blade has been kept safe, but not so true flame, the blade of Nerevar. It was lost at the Battle of Red Mountain. Oh. Okay, true flame. The blade of Nerevar in the battle beneath Red Mountain, true flame, was shattered. The flame extinguished, and in the confusion, the peace is lost. It is time for you, Nerevarine, to remake the blade and take your place by my side once again. I have only one, which I now give to you. Through my magic, I have been able to determine that the other pieces of the blade are nearby. Find the other two pieces of the blade and forge the blade anew. Only you may accomplish this, Nerevarine. Okay, well, do you know where the pieces are? As I said, they are nearby. Look to those in the city that you know and trust for guidance. Find those who would have use for items such as this. Prove your metal to me, Nerevarine, and soon we will stand together once again. Okay, so we've got to search for them. Great, just anything but the sewers, please. Forging the blade? The best weaponsmiths in all of Tamriel reside in my city. When you have recovered the piece of the blade, seek out the finest among these craftsmen and press him into our service. Okay, so afterwards we need to find a blacksmith. Um... Okay, so yeah, I guess we just need to ask around. I don't suppose you'll talk to me? No, of course not. Okay, so, well, we have some contacts right here, don't we? So let's start here. Um, I, do you know where pieces of the, 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 the blade are? Can I, I can't even ask you about that. That's very disappointing. Cra craftsman? There are many. Ah, okay, there we go. If it's weaponsmithing you're interested in, try Yak. Y Yagak grow gluck at the craftsman's hall. Okay, so there we go. That that's our craftsman that we're looking for. But what about? I can't ask you about the blade at all because that's what we need help with. No. Okay. Well, we've got another contact through here that we talk to a lot. So let's go and talk to him. Do you have any info? I am looking for pieces of a very important blade. Surely you know about this. Run of the dead? No, we already... No? Really? No true flame? No nothing? Okay, well that's very disappointing. Um, We could go to the palace. Because uh, I mean, the thing is though, we're not exactly great friends with them. Because we basically said, no, fuck you, I'm not, I'm not doing your quests. <laughs> so, uh, is this the palace courtyard? Yeah, okay, but you know, I mean, there are a lot of important people Justice here, so it might be... A place to start, at least. So, I mean, just the Royal Guards, do you have anything to say? They might at least know. I don't know. Okay, I was hoping yeah. they'd point us in the right direction. Um, okay, how do I... Is this the right way? Is this... Yeah, there we go, throne room. Okay. Do you... Oh, are you held, sir? Captain Delidian speaks well of you. Oh, wow, I didn't expect to see him here. Okay. Oh, wait, what? I said, yeah, we're not doing that, though. His Royal Highness King Kalalu Helseth wishes to speak with you. Why, though? Because I, I don't, I don't want to do the... The, uh, the, the... 
the palace quests because Avelin just wouldn't do that. They're not because it hit you know you have to go against the temple and he would never do that. So the king's health to you, sir. Okay, let's make a save. Let's make a save, and then we'll try talking to him. Ah, so you're the one uh, Tenius has been telling us about. You should have brought the information to us directly. Still, you may be of use. We understand you had a slight inconvenience earlier. It appears we were given a, mis a bit of misinformation. The Queen Mother has spoken of you as well. Huh? Uh, slight inconvenience? Oh, right. We understand you were visited by some Dark Brotherhood assassins. A regrettable occurrence. They are a difficult lot, but they do have their usefulness. I'm certain that will no longer be a problem for you. Yeah, so he's definitely confirmed that he was, in fact, the one who sent those Dark Brotherhood after us. What is this about? We have sources throughout Vardenfell that are paid well to provide us with information. Unfortunately, sometimes it proves to be incorrect. Oh, apparently we're a threat to the monarchy? It is never easy for one to assume the throne, especially after the unfortunate set of circumstances that led to our beloved King Lesan's death. There are those who would seek to profit from such events to take the opportunity to create unrest among the people. There are those even who would wish to see us dead. Queen Baron's oh, she might be someone who knows about the blade, I don't know. Yeah, report yeah, return from Wayrest, and that's got to do with uh Arena, I think. But once we take, not much happens in one hold that she's not aware of. But she is dead. Okay, yeah, there's a plot. Okay, but I'm not, I'm not interested in your, in threats to the monarchy. Okay, I, I'm only interested. Yeah. Okay, well clearly he's not going to tell us anything. Do you, oh yeah, of course, Carrot says nothing. Do these guys have anything to say? It doesn't look like it. Uh, Baron Zaya might have something to say, but then uh, yeah, I don't know. She might just give us um more info about the stupid stupid yeah okay well these guys don't have anything to say oh where was baron oh, we saw her we found her before imperial cult services we found her before oh oh baron there we go baron's eyes chambers hell yeah oh that was lucky <laughs> man i could have been running around for ages yeah here's baron's eye hi okay do you know aha pieces of the blade we can ask her about this Reforged the Blade of Nerevar? I have heard rumours of the Nerevarine returning. Could it be you? I wonder if what Almalexia says is true, and all the pieces of the blade are here in Mournhold. I have a few suggestions for you. Helseth's champion, Carrod, carries a blade that is of an ancient Dwemer design. Oh, well, we talked to him, but he didn't want to talk to us. Perhaps you will learn more from him, though it will be difficult to get the information out of Carrod. Okay, there we go. Tell me about Carrod. He is mute, Avelin. Oh. None have ever heard him utter a word, and the only way to get near him is in battle. You will need to convince Helseth to let you duel his champion. Speak with my son. Perhaps it can be arranged. Okay. I mean, I'm really hoping this isn't going to force us down the These are palace times. quest lines, because I don't want to do that, and the wiki said Justice they were optional. So hopefully they are optional. Okay, so yeah, Carrot won't speak to us. He's mute. But for whatever reason. Captain Delidian speaks well of you. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you about Carrot? Yeah, Carrot. I met him many years ago, a deaf and dumb child wandering the streets of Wayrest. The boy actually had the audacity to try and rob my stepsister, Elisana. Uh, I marveled at his courage and took him into my employ. When a dog has been beaten of Velen, it will lick the hand of one who feeds it, even the most meagre of scraps. Now he is my most loyal ser- so you took advantage of him, okay. Now he is my most loyal of servants, and one of my most deadly. I wish for you to fight my champion. Okay, well that's convenient, because that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that is correct. I have come to know you a bit of Velen, we literally just met, but okay. I believe you can be of some use to me, but the plans I have will require some of- someone of great strength or wit perhaps both the time has come for you to prove this to me you will return here tomorrow and you will duel carrot if you are able to defeat him we will discuss my plans for you okay i don't much give a shit about your plans for me though so okay return here in a day so let's just go out here wait a day 
and then we'll go back in. And hopefully we can duel him. Ha okay, yeah, people have moved. So, have you come to fight my champion? Are you prepared to face Carrot? I am. Okay. Ah, you have come to meet Carrot in battle. Good for you. I have, have I mentioned that Carrot has never been defeated? Perhaps I hadn't. This is to be a fair fight. Use whatever weapons or spells are at your disposal. I wish you both luck. At least one of you will need it. None are to interfere, and you will begin on my command. Okay. Well, we actually have a weapon equipped. Uh, we could use her ebony scimitar. Let's... I mean, if he really is as powerful as they say, we, uh, the axe won't be as much use, but we'll, we'll try the axe anyway. Okay. And... Whoa, okay, okay, wow, we're just going straight... Oh, okay, we did manage to get one hit. One hit in on him, but yeah, it looks like, yeah, he has got a lot of health, though, so... Yeah, man, this might actually be pretty difficult. I mean, are we trying to kill him? Because I don't think... What is that sword, actually, by the way? Uh, Baron Zaya said it was of Gwemma Make. So, yeah, it might be better to just switch over to the sword. But, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll switch over to the sword. We'll leave the... Oh, hell yeah, look at this sword. I love that. Uh, we will leave the, 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 the axe grinding for weaker enemies. Yeah, look at this! Oh, hell yeah, yeah. You didn't exactly count on me having this, did you now? No, you are not prepared for this. <laughs> hell yeah! I don't know. Yeah, this uh, spell effect is crazy. Mildly annoying, to be honest. There we go. Hold, I am beaten. Oh, so we can talk, okay. You are the greater warrior, Velen. You should speak now with my liege. Okay. Right? Enough. I have seen you fight my champion, though I find it hard to imagine how you have succeeded. I did not believe anyone could best Carrot, but you have shown me otherwise. And he speaks. There are depths to you, Velen, that I will fathom in time. But now you have proven yourself to me. Okay. So what, will Carrot speak to me Captain now? Speaks well of you. He says nothing. Look, piece of the blade. It has a... Should I have spoken? Should I not? Should I have not left that dialogue box? Um... How... Okay, I'm impressed, Evelyn. None have ever defeated Carrot in battle, and I certainly didn't expect you to be the first. You continue to surprise me. You have proven your worth to me, as well as your loyalty. Take this as a token of my faith in our friendship. It was my father's ceremonial dagger, and I place it now in your possession. Do not disgrace his memory, Avelin. Now let us discuss my plans for you. Dagger of Simacus. Okay. Pla okay, I'm going to click this, but I'm not really interested in his plans. As I'm certain you know, Mournhold is one of the seats of power for the Tribunal. The goddess Almalexia resides here in her temple. Surrounded by her high ordinators. I have no great love for Almalexia, her ordinators, or the tribunal, of which she is a part. In light of recent events, I believe it is time to gather more information about them. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. You've you've just spoken heresy to Berlin, that's not gonna work. The attack on Mournhold. Yeah, that's okay. And I make it my business to remain forewarned of this sort of event. Many believe the attacking creatures to have been Dwemer constructs, but we know now that this is not the case. These creatures were beyond anything dreamt of by the Dwemer, creatures it would take the power of a god to create. I would like you to learn more about the attacks. I believe that the only person who might shed more light on this situation is Amalexia herself. All indications are that these creatures must be the constructs of Sothisil, and only Amalexia is likely to have information about him. I wish for you to speak to her. Learn what she knows about the creatures and report to me. There is no reason for the goddess to suspect that you and I may be allied. Use this to your advantage. Do not approach me again until you have learned all that you can. Okay. Uh, she, he wouldn't do that, though, so we're not going to do that unless it forces us to do that. And uh, I still need a piece of the blade. So what does our journal say? I've gained, yeah, I don't care if I've gained the king's confidence. I didn't want that. Okay, great. Can we talk to Carrot again now? There we go. Right, okay, pieces, pieces of the blade. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me that as long as I had it, none would defeat me in battle, until the rightful owner came to claim it from me. Ah, I see. 
I know now that you are the one of whom he spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as well as it has served me. Old Dwemer weapon has been added to your inventory. Okay. What is that? Is that this? Old Dwemer weapon? Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. We have that. And we also got this. Yeah, broken Dwemer blade piece. So I guess that's part of the weapon. That's what Alma Alexia gave us. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I don't know about... Is this an actual separate quest? Yeah, Helseth's champion. Yeah. I'm not... Oh, although... Well, that's to do with the dagger. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't... I really hope we don't have to do that quest, because I don't want to. A Velen would not do that. So hopefully we don't have to do that. Now, who else would know about the blade? I do not know. Uh, is there anyone else important in this castle? We've spoken to Helseth. We've spoken to Baron Zaya. We've spoken to the captain of the guards. And we've obviously... Yeah, we're still Justice looking for one piece, sleeps. though. So, yeah, you're just the, the travel the traveller. So, who is there anyone else important Justice in this courtyard? You have pieces of... Ah, oh, pieces of the blade. An attempt to reforge the blade of Nerevar. Interesting. I wish I knew where to tell you to look. But my knowledge of the blade is somewhat limited. Perhaps you'd do better speaking with Tarasa Ar Aram, the curator of the museum. Her knowledge is extensive when it comes to unique items. Of course, it is always wise to consult the Lady Baron Zaya. One never knows what the lady has heard. Okay, so we've spoken to Baron Zaya, but we need to go to Taurus Aram of, of the museum. Can I ask about the museum? Uh, mu museum? Museum? Can I ask about Taurus? No? Okay, so we've got to find the museum. Good to see you again, friend. I don't know where the museum is. <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll just start searching, searching the different areas of the city. Where does this go? Okay, God. Yeah, it might be in God's Reach because I don't think it would be in the Great Bazaar. I think I would have seen it. This ash storm is pretty annoying, to be honest. I'm. Oh listening. yeah, high pockets, of course. Okay. Ah, Craftsman Hall. Okay, well that's where we need to go for the blacksmith. Which? Oh, here we go. Museum of Artifacts. Ah, Welcome here we go. Tarasa Aram, artifacts. excellent. Greetings. I'm Tarasa Aram, curator of the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. What is this? The museum is privately funded and is an effort to collect and display many of the artifacts from this part of the world. Should you want to sell something you feel the museum will be interested in, bring the item here and we can assess its value. Be warned, however, that theft is a serious matter and likely to equal a death warrant for any foolish enough to attempt it. Okay, is she saying that we can't steal from her? Or that if we steal from someone else to sell to her that she'll be upset with us? I'm not sure. I don't think we have anything to sell either. So, but I, yeah, I think that's a quest. We have to go and find uh, artifacts for her. But we'll come back to that. For now, piece of the blade. The pieces of the blade of Nerevar here in Mournhold. Now that's something I'd like to get my hands on for the museum. I can't say that I have seen any that I know of. But I do have one piece from roughly the same time, and it seems to be of Dwemer construction. I don't even have it on display because I haven't been able to positively identify it yet. It's a shield of Dwemer make, but not traditional in any sense of the word. The piece of it just don't seem to match. I've wondered if it's some sort of fake. I suppose I might be able to part with it, but I'll need some compensation. I've always looking for pieces... Let me start again. I'm always looking for new pieces for the Museum of Artifacts. Unique items, armor, and weapons of lore. You know the stuff. If you'd be willing to donate a couple to the museum, I'd be willing to part with the shield. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like maybe we can't do that later. We've got to do that now. Taurus Aram does not believe she has any pieces of the blade, but she does have a unique shield from the same era. She will allow me to use, make use of the item, but only if I make some donations to her museum. Okay, are you gonna give me a list, like, is there a list of things that sell something? The museum is interested in unique artifacts from all over Morrowind. If you have anything we might be, have an, we might have an interest in, we can discuss the specifics. I can tell you up front that the museum is willing to offer half the total value of any artifact sold up to 30,000 gold. We do have a limited budget, you see. Okay, so I assume that, yeah, we don't have any... Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Sendar's hammer? Rumor has it the god of justice himself wielded this hammer. I am inclined to believe it, as none less than a god could ever hope to raise the thing. 
let alone swing it. It took four men just to lift it onto the podium for display. Oh, okay, I guess that's one of the things that is here already. Um, okay, well, oh, oh, boots of, oh, hell no. Hell no, we are not giving away the boots of blinding speed. Grauzar's maze ban, but yeah, we already gave that away, so. Oh, dagger of Simacus, si si maybe? No, because, well, that's, I don't want to give her my stuff, though. I, <laughs> I want to keep the unique things. Why do I have to give it away? Well, let's have a look oh, around. Judge yeah, look, we've got all of these fair. pedestals, which I assume will be filled. What is this? Justice never oh, famed sleeps. artifacts. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, the ebony mail. We have the ebony mail. Okay, so we might be able to just give her some stuff that we already have. I mean, it sucks because we want to keep it, but, you know, so the Lord's Mail, sometimes called the Armor of Mora House or the Gift of Kinnereth. This is an ancient cuirass of unsurpassable quality. It grants the wearer power to absorb health, resist the effects of spells, and cure oneself of poison when used. It is said that whenever Kinnereth designs... De Danes the wearer unworthy, the Lord's mail will be taken away and hidden for the next chosen one. We know what the ebony mail is. Spellbreaker. That's interesting. Yeah, that's an artifact of uh, Periite. Chrysomir. Chrysomir. The Paladin's Blade is an ancient claymore with offensive capabilities surpassed only by its own defense. It lends the wielder health and protects him or her from fire and reflects any spells cast against the wielder back, at the, back to the caster. Seldom has Chrysomir been wielded by any blademan for any length of time. It is, chooses not to favour one champion. But the Staff of Magnus! I did not expect that to be in Morrowind. The Staff of Magnus, one of the elder artifacts of Tamriel, was a metaphysical battery of sorts for its creator, Magnus. When used, it absorbs an enemy's health and mystical energy. In time, the Staff will abandon the mage who wields it before he becomes too powerful and upsets the mystical balance it is sworn to protect. Warlock's Ring The Warlock's Ring of the Archmage Cirabane is one of the most popular relics of myth and fable. In Tamriel's ancient history, Cirabane saved all of the continent by judicious use of his ring, and ever since it has helped adventurers with less lofty goals. It is best known for its ability to reflect spells, cast at its wearer, and to improve his or her speed to restore health, and to restore health. No adventurer can wear the Warlock's Ring for long, for it is said that the Ring is Cirabane's alone to command. Ring of Finaster, I think that is? The Ring of Finaster was made hundreds of years ago by a man who needed good defences to survive his adventurous life. Thanks to the Ring, Finaster lived for hundreds of years, and since then it has passed from person to person. The Ring improves its wearer's overall resistance to poison, magicka, and shock. Still, Finaster was cunning and cursed the ring so that it eventually disappears from its holder's possession and returns to another resting place, discontent to stay anywhere but with Finaster himself. Uh, there seems to be a running theme with these artifacts, they don't like to be held by anyone. <laughs> ring of Khajiit. The, the, the Ring of the Khajiit is an ancient relic hundreds of years older than Rajin, the thief that made the ring famous. It was Rajin who used the ring's power to make himself invisible and as quick as the breath of a wind. Using the ring, he became the most successful burglar in Elsewhere's history. Rajin eventually, Rajin, Rajin's eventual fate is a mystery, but according to the legend, the ring rebelled against such constant use and disappeared, leaving Rajin helpless, helpless before his enemies. Mace of Molag Bol, I know what that is, obviously. Mask of Clavica's Vial, Merun's Razor. Curious, oh, the Savior's Hide, okay. Spear of Bitter Mercy. One of the more mysterious artifacts is the Spear of Bitter Mercy. Little to nothing is known about the spear. There are no recorded histories, but many believe it to be of Daedric origin. The only known legend about it is its use by a mighty hero during the fall of the Battle Spire. Oh, I see. That was one of the spin-off games, Battle Spire, so I guess that's in the game, maybe? The hero was aided by the spear in the defeat of Merun's Dagon and the recapturing of the Battle Spire. Since that time, the Spear of Bitter Mercy has made a few appearances within Tamriel. Ah, the Daedric Scourge? Uh, you can get that in the new the new Creation Club thing. The Daedric Scourge is a mighty mace forged from sacred ebony in the fires, fires of Fickledire, the legendary weapon of Makan. It was once a fierce weapon used to send spirits of black back into oblivion. The weapon has... What, what is, I don't know what that means. The weapon has the ability to summon creatures from oblivion. 
Once a tool used against the Daedric Lords in the Bath of Spire, it now roams the land with adventures. The Bow of Shadows. Legend has it that the bow... Oh, the... hang on, hang on. This is Fist of R Randigolf. We're wearing those. Well, we're not giving those up. I can tell that now. Legend has it that the Bow of Shadows was forged by the Daedra Nocturnal. The legendary ranger, Raylus Guile, was granted the bow for a secret miss mission that failed, and the bow was lost. Raylus did not go down without a hearty fight, and is said to have, with the aid of the bow, taken scores of his foes with him. The bow grants the user the ability of invisibility and increased speed. Many sightings of the Bow of Shadows have been reported, and it is even said that the sinister dark elf assassin of the second era, Dram, once wielded this bow. Yeah, the fists of Randagolf were wearing those. Randagolf of Clan Begolin goes down in Tamrielic history as one of the mightiest warriors from Skyrim. He was known for his courage and ferocity in battle, and was a factor in many battles. He finally met his fate when King Harald conquered Skyrim. King Harald respected this great hero and took Randagolf's gauntlets for his own. After King Harald died, the gauntlets disappeared. The king claimed that the fists granted the pair added strength. They do. Ice Blade of the Monarch. You can also get that in Creation Club. The Ice Blade of the Monarch is truly one of Tamriel's most prized artifacts. Legends has it that the evil archmage Almion Kelno enchanted the claymore of a great warrior with the soul of a frost monarch. What's a frost monarch? Oh, a stronger form of the most common frost atronach. The warrior Th Thurgnar Assi was to play a part in the assassination of a great king in a far-off land and become the new leader. The assassination failed and the archmage was imprisoned. The ice blade freezes all who feel its blade. The blade circulates from owner to owner, never settling in one place for long. Jesus, how long is this book? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, no, we, we cannot keep reading this. But the other things are Ring of Surroundings. Little is known, lends the wearer the ability to blend in with their surroundings. Boots of the Apostle. The Mentor's Ring. Ring of the Wind. Vampiric Ring. El Eladon's Ward. Staff of Hasidoki, which is also in Creation Club. Bloodworm Helm, Creation Club. Dragonbone Mail, might be in Creation Club. Skull Crusher, never heard of it. Gold Brand, I love Gold Brand. Uh, do we already have Gold Brand? We might, I, no. I have no idea. Fang of uh, he he Heinic Tanamet. I butchered that, but you know. The Umbra, Umbra Sword, of course. Den, Den Stagma's Ring. Helm of Orain Bearclaw. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. So, can we take this book? Actually, that would be really helpful if we could take that book. I mean, do you have any artifacts on display? You said Sendar's Hammer, so do they have that up here, maybe? So, aha! Yeah, look at that Sendar. Oh, look at that! It actually does look like the one in Skyrim. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so I guess we can Justice never uh, submit all of what. Well, yes, yeah, submit. You know what I mean? Try me, and you'll regret uh, Yeah, we can give all of the artifacts. I mean, it sucks because uh, this is a quest. So if we do actually have to- I don't want to give away all my unique artifacts, that's- I don't like that, I don't want to do that. But, yeah, I mean, if it's a quest, then- If a few words can we've help- We've got to do it, you know. So, what do we currently have in our- yeah, because- yeah, we're wearing the Fist of Randigal. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, look, this is Gaynor's amulet, by the way, that I looted from him. Uh, which fortifies luck 15 points, which I'm wearing. Um, because it, it took so much to kill him that I refused to not wear it. So yeah, we can give the Dagger of Symmachus, maybe? What? Yeah, I mean, it's a short blade, so we'll never use it. So fortify short blade by 10 points, fortify endurance 10 points, and reflect 10%. I mean, I feel like, uh, <laughs> Elseth is going to be pretty pissed off if we donate that, but... Look, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. So let's see if she'll take this. Uh, we're obviously not giving the boots a blinding speed, that's a joke. Dagger of Symmachus. There we go, the ceremonial dagger of General Symmachus. How did you come to possess this? What a local treasure. If you're willing to part with it, I can offer you 10,000 gold for it. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's let's sell the item. Okay, thank you, Avalon. There we go. Okay, will you give me the piece now? The, the, the piece, piece of the, the, the blade? How do I... Huh? What are the... 
What did he click on? I've not pierced through the blade. I need the shield. I don't know if one... Oh, one piece. I don't even... Yeah, compensation. I gave you one thing. Oh, okay, a couple. I, would, I mean, does that, does that actually mean two? Or does she want more than that? We are not giving her the boots with blinding speed. That over my dead body. Okay, let's head back to... I can show you something funny of this, actually. We're very near the end here. But let's head back to uh, Bal Isra. Uh, and see, the thing is... We're, we've, we've stored things You're in so many different places. I'm not even 100% sure where this is. So we can give her the ebony mail, I guess. Do we have anything else of interest here that we can get oh the bow of yeah we already have the bow of shadows okay well yeah we can give her that because we're not we don't use marksmen so that's fine i mean it it hurts my heart to give her these things because they're unique and i want to keep them in my collection but yeah i guess yeah i guess we have to give them to her so it is what it is okay nothing else in there anything in here ah ebony mail yeah there we go Okay, do we have anything anything else in here that we can uh, donate? I think, annoyingly, I think a lot of these things are going to be Daedric artifacts. And I wasn't planning on doing the Daedric quests with a villain. I was going to wait uh, to do those with someone else. So, yeah, we might have to just hold off. I mean, I suppose we'll donate the ones that we have in the name of completion. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to find other ones. Yeah, so that's the, the other stuff that I just added. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else in here. But if you go downstairs... Uh, yeah, it's really annoying to me that you can't store a certain... You can only store a certain amount of things in chests. I find that very annoying. But, oh! That's definitely one of them, right? Where did we even get that? I don't know. But there we go. We can have... Yeah, we've got Keening, of course. Keening and Sunder. Strange she doesn't want those. But Blood Ring? Was that... One of them, I'll take it, I guess. Soul ring? I don't even know where- yeah, I guess we'll just take everything that looks vaguely- Vaguely important, I suppose. Ring of Azura. Yeah, I mean, you would think that these things would be relevant, but I suppose not. Anything in these? Yeah, just got some soul gems and stuff. Books. Okay, I think that's pretty much what everything. Unless did I did I store anything in Please these? I don't think so. Oh, it's so got a to meet you. decent amount of gold You'll in here. Okay, so let's head back really quickly oh, and well, so I can show you something funny. Look, if you go to if you just to, uh, try to center on uh, Mournhold, which you can see I tried to do, it takes you to this weird room, uh, which has a door to the abyss, <laughs> which you can actually jump down and you just fall. So yeah, that's. That's a little bit funny. Uh, so I thought I would show you that. Because, yeah, I discovered that. <laughs> when I was just trying to get back. I don't know. If, uh, I assume you have to specify which district. But, yeah, I don't know why just Mournhold is considered this one room. I assume there's yes. a reason for it, coding-wise. Perhaps it was a test or something. I don't know. But, anyway, we'll just go. <laughs> we'll go to Evanhart, which is where we are now. And we will make our way back by paying, I suppose. So, hello. Take me, take me to Warnhold, yes. Thanks. Okay, bye. Okay, great. Let me outside, please. Courtyard. Um, yeah, courtyard and now uh, God's, God's Reach, which is, is this one God's Reach? I don't, or is this, the, I think this is the Great Bazaar, actually. Yeah, okay. We want to go to God's Reach, not the Great Bazaar. And hopefully she'll accept these and then give us the piece of the blade. And then we can end the episode on a high note, you know? It's, I don't like that I have to give her the, the unique things. <laughs> They're my things. I, I worked for them and I want to keep them, but needs must, Welcome I suppose. To the Museum of okay, Artifacts. sell something. Oh, okay, I can sort of find them. Okay, yeah, Bow of Shadows. Excellent. Well, this is a piece I never thought I'd see. Did you know the assassin Dram was said to have wielded this bow? I'd be honored to have this on display. I can offer you 21,000 gold. Yeah, well, listen. Ovelin is kind-hearted and would probably donate, but I... I require I require financial compensation for the pain that this causes me. So yeah, sell the item. Excellent. Uh, what else do we have? I already gave you the dagger, ebony mail. Yes, there we go. I can offer thirty k. Wow, sell it. We can have so much gold. Look at it. Look, it turned up. Hell yeah. Okay, fang of whatever that is for sixteen thousand. Yep, sell that. Excellent. Any? Do we have anything else? 
Okay, I think that's everything. Because, yeah, we are. I mean, can we talk about Paralysar's maze band? Yeah, you found it and brought it to the goddess. Okay. Yeah, and we are not. <laughs> We're not giving her the boots over my dead body. Okay. Please give me the piece. I gave you compensation. What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? But I gave you several things. I, how many things did I give her? Like, I gave her the both one, two, three, uh, a plus. Yeah, I gave her four things. And she won't accept. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but look, you can see the ebony mail's on. I suppose we can just take them back, but <laughs> steal them back. But, I mean, she did say that, that wasn't allowed, but. Okay, is anything else on display? Yeah, look, both shadows. Excellent. And do we have the... Where's the, the, the dagger? The dagger of Symmachus? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And there was there was something else. The, yeah, the, the, the dagger. Yeah, look, here we go, here we go. Yeah, fang of that and the dagger of Symmachus. There we go. Well, that's nice. So, yeah, I mean, I would give her four things. Why? Okay, well, I'm going to have to look up what, what the hell else she wants and how to get it because I don't know what's going on here. But anyway... I hope you've enjoyed this episode for now. I will figure out what what we need to do to continue in the next episode. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed. Like it if you have. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.